Oh, well, oh, well. You got some guy put a mask on like this, threatened a bunch of people, apparently a hoax, because if anybody watched any of his videos, they know this man probably does not have the power to do none of this. And they're trying to make him look like a villain. What he said was stupid. What he did was dumb. Why put a fucking mask on and talk big and shit? Now, I've been off YouTube for a few days, resting a bum knee, trying to find more work. And it comes to one conclusion, what people would do for video hits, for popularity. YouTube is twisted, perverted, and now it is sick. Um, I ain't never heard a trash man say anything stupid is what I heard on the news last week. Um... I didn't really watch his videos, and I don't watch his videos. I saw one the other day, Daddy's Little Girl, like a tribute to his daughter or something like that. The moral of this story is this. For me to be gone as long as I was, to come back and see people getting 54,000 hits and 48,000 hits because they bashing trash, man, it's like, damn. Then Jay Ryder says, uh, people bandwagon jumping on trash, man. And if it's all about hits and, and getting video hits, then call it like it is. He got up here for publicity. He said it to shock and get publicity and look at it. He finna go to jail for creating one of the biggest hoaxes in American history. I'm gonna kill some fools, that I poison the baby. Stupid shit. Shit I don't even wanna repeat correctly. Because if I repeat it correctly, that's the only thing that I'll be looped and I'll be the next motherfucker going to jail. It ain't finna happen. Just recently, I tried to do something to shock people. Um, I don't know if it worked, but hey, I'm not gonna get up here and talk about killing people. Batman just came out. Made $400 million. Number one movie on the planet. Trash Man just came out and now he's going to jail. But how much publicity is this going to generate for one person? What will this do to the state of YouTube? You know what I mean? We get to say a lot of shit here on this little box, looking through a little web camera. And when we go break out our real cameras and shit and do production type shit and put it on our same pages. When we do what we do on this YouTube, what is what this man has done? What will that cost us? What if they decide to shut this little free speech experiment down? What this is an experiment. Just to see what the average American will say. When you can put a camera in front of people and they flip the fuck out. When the people put the fucking cameras in front of themselves, what's gonna happen? Now we got Trash Man. Super villain. They sound like George Bush and shit. You know, when you do this and uh, you know you know what I mean he sounds like a low budget super villain oh and about these bandwagon jumpers jumped on the bandwagon you know talking all this and that yet trying to be YouTube ends generalizing and capitalizing of one man's stupidity. To put a mask on and to talk shit, yeah, da, 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 da. make false threats, tell people you got AIDS and you're fucking everybody. Whatever you do, whatever you do, is how you do it. To get up here and threaten a bunch of kids, the future of the world. You came off like a low budget super villain. You got all these fake ass People who used to be your friends on YouTube talking shit about you. You're done. And your actions may have cost everybody on YouTube. Trash, man. Whatever they do to you, man, it could have been avoided by one person, and that's you. For all these people out here trying to capitalize on his image, you know how I used to put the ski mask on and talk shit? For those of you who try to capitalize on his misfortune, 
Like I said, whenever you can say trash man, then fucked up and laugh and giggle and get 40,000 hits in less than a week, shit, why the fuck you think I put this goddamn ski mask on and shit? Try to tell you motherfuckers the truth. But hey, hopefully he didn't cost us this YouTube thing. Hopefully they don't want to just shut us down. And hopefully, if they did shut us down, I don't have to fucking see my videos on some fucking pay-per-view and not get fucking paid. Hey, I'm just trying to keep it real. Because once they shut this down, all these videos that you and I and every other person on this fucked up ass planet has made belongs to the company in which we give our videos to. And when they decide to pull the plug, you know how many TV shows that we have produced for them? Do you know how much revenue that we have created for this medium? But one man to go around and fuck it up? Because you want to put a ski mask on and pretend like he's a villain? I'm going to... I can say a million fucking things that would get a whole bunch of bad people's brains spinning and they man we can actually physically do that but you think I'm gonna say something I know it's gonna get some stupid shit nah I am trying my best not to say nothing wrong now but motherfucking put a ski mask on talk shit now he's got more YouTube hits than he needs now he's gonna go to jail for an elaborate hoax perpetrated across the planet and all you people out there want to do is make fun of him the same people he's comment on his videos ooh trash man the greatest all you motherfuckers is full of shit so I guess if I fuck up all the people who watch the real AI I knew he was going to do that AIX was a loose cannon we knew he was going to turn into super villain number two just understand this trash man is not a super villain but, for you to get on a big ass screen, or for you to go into everyone's home on TV and say, I'm going to do something bad, or it's done. I like to sing sometime. I want to sing something. This is going to be good right here. This, I'm going to sing one word that sums up this whole incident. <clears throat> Son, you know what I'm going to sing, don't you? Get my voice ready. <coughs> stupid. You get it? That shit is stupid. No trash man. Goodbye. <laughs>